Welcome to the first of a short series of presentations on the integration of web functionality in Uniface client server applications. We are going to do this quite fast, but don't worry, the sources and PowerPoint are available on uniface.info. Just look under Uniface Downloads, Uniface Samples. As you can see on the Badass Square website, I was not always a suit-wearing Uniface developer. But when my girl ran off with some Uniface hero, I knew it was time for a change. So I became a Uniface consultant. I have learned that older Uniface applications are still delivering value, day in, day out. But why do they have to look so boring? I would like to jazz them up a little with nice enhancements like charts and graphs. Since there often is no specific budget for enhancements like these, we need to look for a cheap solution. So let's Google. Among the search results I found that Google has an API for producing charts, and it looks pretty interesting. Reading the documentation, it does not seem to be difficult. We can probably do this from Uniface, so let's give it a try. As a test, we will make a very simple Uniface form with a pie chart. The chart we are making is totally meaningless, like so many other charts. With a spin button, I want to be able to set the percentage of the chart that represents Pac-Man. And I want to press a button to generate the chart. On a new Uniface form, paint a dummy entity. We need just three elements, a spin button, a command button and an OCX container. For a pie chart we need a total of 100%, so in the spin button we set the minimum value to 0 and the maximum value to 100, and I like the initial value to be 75. We need to show the result that Google gives us in a web browser. To give the impression that the result is shown within Uniface, we add an OCX container. In the OCX container, we use Microsoft's Internet Explorer to display the chart. Press the selection button at the top of the screen. A selection window appears in which we select the Microsoft Web Browser Control. After we press OK, we now see the OCX name shell.explorer. Now we press Generate Signature, so Uniface signatures are generated for this control. When we press OK, extended triggers are also generated for this field, but we won't use them. In the detail trigger of the button, we put a couple of lines of code. First we construct the URL for the chart, according to the API documentation that was found on the Google website. Then we instruct the web browser in the OCX container to navigate to this URL. And this is all the code we need for this example. So now we are all done and we can compile and test the form. And to run this functionality from your application, you do not even need a web server. You do need to be connected to the internet of course. This was only a little sample of what you can do. Now that you have seen how simple it is, I hope you are inspired to add cool stuff to your applications. You'll be finished before lunch. Thank you and goodbye.